got equal parts rice vinegar and water on a medium flame coming up to temperature. When I say temperature, I don't want it to boil. I just want tiny little bubbles on the exterior sort of perimeter there, the circumference on the outside. You know what I'm talking about. What we're trying to do is just warm it up because what's going to happen is we're going to put the salt and sugar and that's going to help that salt and sugar to melt. Now, what we'll need to do is to cool that down completely after. So just be mindful of that. The other thing is I'm going to add my aromatics, the sort of flavor enhancers to these pickles, um, to this vinegar water solution. Now, here's the thing. If you grew up in the Caribbean, we are not a vinegar-loving people. When I, and, and, you know, I'll be honest with you. The only thing I like vinegar in is a good escovitch. You know, escovitch fish, the escovitch sauce usually has vinegar in there. Or when we're making pepper sauce, we add vinegar as the sort of stabilizer. And that is why I'm not using plain vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar because it has a bit of a flavor to it. And I don't get that pronounced raw white vinegar flavor or taste. Now, I am not, yeah, let's be, let's be clear. I am not the biggest fan of pickles. Very rare do I eat pickles. But my daughters, they love the stuff, so why not? And there goes that sugar. And what we should also talk about, <clears throat> what we should also talk about is we eat very seasonal in the Caribbean and you will hardly, we don't have a pickle culture. The closest we have to pickles, uh, and you know, and jams too. While we do have some jams recipe like guava and cherry and, and stuff like that, for the most part, we eat fruit and vegetables and stuff like that seasonally when it's available nice and fresh and ripe. And if you've ever had stuff from the Caribbean, even the cucumbers, you will understand what I'm talking about. The flavor is totally different than anything you've ever had. Except, you know, in Europe, all is spoiled. Because when I was in Europe, I enjoyed some of the best tomatoes I've ever had in my life. And I'll be honest with you, Daddy used to grow tomatoes down in the Caribbean. Sorry, Dad, it can't come here. What I'm saying is we don't have a sort of a canning or, or a sort of a pickle, um, um, sort of a culture in the Caribbean. It's just the, the only closest thing we have is like mango chow or something like that. So yeah, it may seem strange, but we have you know necessarily we have all the ingredients that would go into a pickle. So why not? I, I mean, let's say we can step up the game, whatever that means. Sugar, black peppercorns, and if you wanted to add a bit of pimento seeds or allspice um, berries in here, you can. It's the same thing, uh, just different wording. You can also add it in there. It's totally up to you. Garlic, and I just smashed the garlic. The full recipe in its printable format will be available at CaribbeanPot.com. Mustard seeds and a couple bay leaves. And again, all we're trying to do now is to bring that up to temperature. I'm just going to grab a spoon and I'm going to hit that to stir. We just that one that vinegar water combination to warm up. So it will allow the sugar and the salt to melt and allow the mustard seed, the black peppercorns, the garlic, the um, bay leaf, all of those flavors to really start coming out. And yo, this is what they call fridge pickle, which means in a couple days, 48 to 72 hours, somewhere around there, you pull it out of the fridge and you're ready to enjoy it. And I can get that smell of that rice vinegar. Man, I love me some rice vinegar, you know. As those flavors come together in the pot there, and remember to keep an eye on it, you don't want it to boil, just to warm through a bit. I'm just gonna explain what we did. And I have what they call pickling cucumbers here in Canada. Um, these are my favorite for snacking, for making salads and everything. And they tend to be sweeter. And all I did was I chopped off the top and the bottom. Give them a good wash, because when you buy them, they're gonna be covered in dirt. Yeah, it grows in dirt, come on, be smart about it, man. But anyhow, you're gonna cut off the top and the bottom, and then you're gonna cut them into spears. So each one was cut into four pieces, you can see here, right? Again, drain it dry because we don't want to bring too much water into here. I'm going to do two types and I want to add a Caribbean sort of flavor or, or I mean to say I am from the Caribbean. I want to add that nice little vibe. So what we have here in one bottle, I am using one of these, where are you going partner? One of these pimento peppers and these, once you cut them open, you will get that strong scent of a habanero or a wicked scotch bonnet, Caribbean sunshine, without the heat. You won't have the heat. So I have for my mild version with that sort of scotch bonnet flavor without the heat, I have one pimento pepper sliced up. So one jar I'm going to make with that. 
and the other jar I have here about five or six um, weary weary peppers and we call them and every time I mention them in videos I always try to make sure you guys understand that in Trinidad and Tobago we call them coffee pepper because they have this sort of shape of a ripe when once they ripe as well too um, coffee beans um, coffee pot beans you know what I'm talking about but anyhow and this is gonna be the spicy one because I cut them in half because I want that heat to be released in Guyana they call them weary weary peppers if you don't have that and you want to add a better well not better um, the other option is a scotch bonnet pepper you can slice it up habanero will work as well too I just grabbed one of these from the garden and this is all for my garden as well too and finally what will and this is a flavor and this is one of the reasons why I don't like I'm not the biggest fan of pickles dill I am not a fan of dill and rosemary rosemary and I don't get along she is just not on my no sir rosemary don't swipe on my profile all right <laughs> anyhow dill and I'm not adding the dill into there nor did I add the peppers into there because I don't want the dill to cook I don't want it to warm up I want when that liquid is cool when it's cool then we put everything together and it's going to be pretty simple you're going to grab these and you're going to stick them down into the jar that you're pickling it in and then you're just going to pour the liquid that we just made try to get to split up the peppercorns and the mustard seeds and the garlic and everything into each bottle and then you're going to boom your hot one and your sort of mild one and of course we have the dill to go in there these I'm making a little corned beef and rice tonight and I'm going to slice this up and enjoy myself. I'm going to munch on this baby too. It's warm all the way through. It's not even bubbling on the side. And now so I see tiny little bubbles on the side. So I'm just going to turn off the stove. I'm going to shift that over from the hot burner and allow that to completely cool. Yeah, you want to cool completely before we assemble things. It took about 20-25 minutes for it to cool down to the temperature that I want well it's cool it took 20 25 minutes to cool down in the interim what I went ahead and did was I added in one of them I added dill on the bottom and dill at the top and I put some cucumbers some of the cucumbers in there along with the the weary weary peppers all sliced up and I left space you can see it's able to move around because what we're gonna do now is pour the liquid in there but we're gonna try to split the sort of ingredients in the liquid the garlic the uh, peppercorns and and mustard seeds and all that between both of them so it's not just a matter of pouring in but i left the space specifically for that and this is the one with the pimento pepper in there and again no heat but a lovely flavor so all i'm going to do is grab some of that crushed garlic and peppercorns along with the mustard seeds like so and i'm just dividing it and you can see it's just pouring straight down into into the jars and make sure the jars are sterilized i don't think we need to discuss why and stuff like that we just need for it to be sterilized yeah one of the bay leaves and well of course the other one will go in here once we're happy with everything divided up equally in both of them I, oh i just lost some of my brine there but anyhow then we're gonna go in and i've reserved some of the spears and I use spears I forgot to mention that I cut them into what's called spears but you can slice them uh, lengthwise if you want to put it onto sandwiches and hamburger and stuff like that or you can cut the cucumber into coins it's totally up to you now that I'm somewhat happy with dividing up everything in there I'm just tucking in some more of that cucumber down in here and you can see nice and tight now Actually, one more could probably, well, uh, yeah, we got one more going on in there. Just nice and tight in there. We got the garlic, the peppercorn, the mustard seeds, the bay leaf. So I'm just going to do the same with this one here. And then it's just a matter of pouring that brine directly in here, covering it into the fridge 24 hours. If you're licorice by tomorrow morning, you can go ahead and, you know, start enjoying Just want to grab some more of that mustard seed in there boom to stop it up try and make sure and you know the more tight and one of the reasons why I shove them all in tight is because 
I want it to be submerged in the sort of brine that we made there. What I'm going to do is, of course, um, and, and by having it tight, it won't raise up once we're done. So all I'm going to do is hit that another tablespoon or so. I'm going to hit that a little wipey wipe because I have been known to be messy. Put the lid on. Hit him a little upside down, little shake, and you see on the bottom all that mustard seed and the dill. Yeah, what I forgot to mention is the dill is already in here as well too. Just gonna hit that a shake like so, and that is gonna go into the fridge. 24 hours, like I said, if you're licorice, you can go in right after about 48 hours. Give it about 48 hours, and then yo enjoy fridge pickles. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen. If you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene? Irene. Yeah, and I know it's not something as we discussed earlier there that it's typically done in the Caribbean, but it's all yo man, it's so easy to make, eh? And why not? You know, you have a bumper crop of um, cucumbers. In Canada, they specifically sell, they, they rate them actually, they grade them by the size of the cucumber. So size one, two, three, I think there's different sizes. But again, slap that lid on, hit that to shake. And what you may want to, may want to do is put M for mild, and S for spicy on the top there. Um, if you didn't have the um, weary, weary peppers or scotch bonnet pepper, peppers that I spoke about earlier there, which is the other option, you can also use pepper flakes. It's totally up to you. But Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, fridge pickles in a day or so. They'll be enjoying this at home here. Um, that dill is really gonna shine through the garlic, the pimento pepper, all kind of thing like that. So spicy. Not so spicy, but yo, jamming with flavor, yeah?